And there are some very famous authors that I will not mention on this podcast who I know for a fact because I've looked at the, the, that they brag about how they're New York Times bestsellers. Well, it's because they paid for it. They bought all those books themselves, right? You can game all these systems. And if you're too obsessed with the number because you think the number is what gives you credibility, then it goes back to ethical fading again. Then the pressure becomes overwhelming and you start doing things that have nothing to do with the podcast or the cause and only have to do with advancing the number so you can go around telling people you got the number, mm. right? Great, good for you, you know? And, you know, I don't, it's not how I choose to build my business or live my life, you know? But I think what's more fun is to be surprised, which is, is it okay to be driven to be number one as long as you're doing it second and, and, the, pod, and, the, and the, the cause comes first? Sure, if that's your thing. Um, but just be prepared to answer what, what next, you know, cause you, you can't be number one forever. I love it when companies say I'm number one or I've got the number one podcast and you heard, I always say for now, <laughs> like, for now, like that stuff doesn't last. Even if it's 10 years, it still won't last. Mm. Right. Quick one. We bring in eight people a month to watch these conversations live here in the studio when we're here in the UK and when we're in LA. If you want to be one of those people, all you've got to do is hit subscribe. What are you working on at the moment, Simon? Because you're, you're, you're known for writing amazing books and delivering amazing content. What are you working on? What's, what's compelling you at the moment? What's your why? Well, my why is to inspire people to do the things that inspire them so, to each of those, so that each of those can change our world for the better. That is the, the foundation of everything that I do. 